Welcome to another Take 5. I'm out here in our church's prayer garden today. It's a place I like to come sometimes and just read God's Word and spend time in prayer. I chose this location today because I don't want the focus of this Take 5 to be on the location, but rather the application. Listen to what David writes in Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes, in human beings who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. He sets the prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the foreigner and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations, praise the Lord. I want to ask you today, are you spending daily time praising God? You see, this psalm makes it very clear. We have a God who is worthy of all our praise. Not just our praise on a Sunday morning between the hours of 10 and 11, but every day of our lives, He deserves praise. Do you praise God every day? God is worthy of all of our praise for several reasons. Number one, He is greater than man. David writes, don't put your trust in princes, in human beings who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that day, their plans come to nothing. Because God is so much greater than man. David says there's coming a day when every man departs this world, his body goes in the ground, whatever plans he had, not anymore. And so our faith and our praise needs to be in God, not in man. Secondly, God deserves our praise because he made everything. He made everything. He says he's the maker of heaven and earth and the sea and everything that's in it. God is awesome. He has created everything. Every tree, every rock, every mountain, every river, and every soul is created by God. He's an awesome God, and so he is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our praise because he has created everything. And then finally, he is worthy of our praise because God saves like no one else. Listen to some of the things that David says God is able to do. He upholds the cause of the oppressed. He gives food to the hungry. He sets the prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. He lifts up those who are bowed down. He loves the righteous. There is no spiritual captivity that God cannot deliver you and I from. If we're being held in captivity from sin, God can free us from it. If we are spiritually hungry, God will feed us. If we are spiritually blind, God can give us sight. If we are spiritually oppressed, God will raise us up. If we are bowed down, God lifts up those who are humble. And so he saves like no one else can do. It says he loves the righteous. So when David says the Lord loves the righteous, it doesn't mean that he does not love the unrighteous. But it means that he does love those who seek him, who want him, who desire him, who call out to him. And he answers them. He saves them. He protects them. He acts in their lives. But the wicked, he frustrates. Bottom line, God reigns forever. Not just a day, not just a month, not just a year, not just four years, eight years, not just a decade, not just a generation. The Lord reigns forever, and he is worthy of our praise. He sets the prisoner, and I'm telling you what, I am getting bit like crazy here.